I'm just going to guess that you're that one person in your family who is very different from the rest. You are the one that broke the generational cycles. You're probably more educated than your other family members. You see life from a wider, bigger perspective. You dream bigger, you see bigger. Yet there's this part of you who keeps yourself small around them and you don't know why. I'll tell you why. I'm Vanessa if you're new here. I'm a life coach who helps people uncover and work through their inner blocks. The first reason is because there's a part of you that feels bad about being who you are. There's a part of you that almost has survivor's guilt for being able to go outside of the worldview that they have and that you grew up with. Because once you accomplish what you've accomplished and you see the world from this different mindset, you look back and you want to take everyone with you and you see that they're not coming and then you start to feel bad. Another reason is because you want to feel like you belong. And if you go at, uh, too far out of the Petri dish, then you're going to feel even more distance than what you feel with them right now. And that goes against human nature in a way because everyone wants to have a sense of belonging, especially to family. So understanding of this is so important in order to have clarity and acceptance around this. I also want to let you know that you holding yourself back doesn't bring your family forward. And I'm going to say it again for the people in the back. You holding yourself back doesn't bring your family forward. You having less money doesn't make other people rich. You stifling your growth doesn't make other people grow.